trying to go so the whole point of this trip is basically to test myself out being out here by myself as a soloist because you know one day I'd like to do the um, Pacific Crest Trail for a long through hike like that and I'm pretty sure most of the days almost all the days I'll be by myself so I wanted to test myself out especially at night time this is absolutely gorgeous guys just um seeing those clouds creeping up on the on the hill so as i was taking pictures i heard this uh kind of sound making noise like breathing hard or blowing hard and it came from the area behind me I stopped and my my heart started pumping uh, really strong because they have mountain lions here and you know how I feel about those but then I looked again and it was just this doe that galloped away skipped away so good thing it was a mountain lion but I hopefully I wish I had it on video. That would have been nice to show you guys. Lunch time. Trying to uh, heat up my Vienna sausage in there. I got my ramen cooking in there. And just gonna take a lunch break. Almost there to where I need to go. Uh, using my jet boil. And I think that's ready. Of all the things I lost, I knew I was gonna lose my stick pick. And it's brand new too. I just got it. And I was having fun with it and then put it away in my pocket rechecked where it was and it's gone I just gotta order another one I guess which sucks that I wanted to use it during this trip but oh well it's gonna cost me another 15 bucks so guy that made stick pick I'm gonna buy another one giving you more business look at that view guys this is winter camping dark and gloomy but the view is beautiful. Look at those trees. Absolutely beautiful. You don't see this in the in the city, you know. You don't see this every day. So you got to come out here. I mean, you just got to get out. You get so used to the city, you forget what's really true beauty out there, with, which is in, out in the wilderness. So I'm heading down to this creek that I have to pass through. Uh, I'm actually going to end up at that creek tonight, um, camp out there. Um, I'm really having a lot of fun, guys. I'm by myself, you know. Uh, even though I don't have anybody to talk to, this camera alone kind of makes me feel like I'm talking to somebody, although I'm really talking to myself. Uh, I'm not crazy, though. Uh, yeah, There's, I'm going downhill right now. That's where I came from. So not looking forward to the return back because it's going to be all incline. But it shouldn't be that bad. Wow. I've always wanted to see one of these salamanders. That is cool. Look at him. Slowly. It's not very fast, huh? I'm not going to bother you, my friend. Just want to see what you look like in real life. Here's the creek, folks. The water level is not that bad. I mean, it's probably just up to my ankles. 
Uh, so it's crossable. I need to get over to the other side to get a camping spot. Flat grounds. See? Just up to my the level of my ankles probably. Okay, I've decided that this is where I'm going to camp for tonight. Um, it's kind of hidden. I was going to go over there, you know, where it's open, but I kind of want to hide from, you know, any potential danger. Um, and the creek's just a few feet away. It's right down there. I don't, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I can. So time to set up camp. I'm using the MSR Hyperflow to get me some water. Filter me some water. Into my 96 ounce canteen. And I want to make sure I get a lot of water so I don't have to keep on coming back and forth to this creek. But it's a couple feet away from my tent, but you know, save my energy. It's not clear. <laughs> it looks like yellow pee. I mean, it looks like pee. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna give you guys a little tour about around my tent and what I have. Um, so I have my jet boil, um, boiling some water so I can make some green tea. And over here, I have my garbage, my garbage bag, which is a Ziploc. I have my Frostmore knife, my MSR um, Hyperflow filter, water filter and a little canteen got my gloves, my pee bottle everybody needs pee bottle, uh, especially the guys and my retainers and I got a little um, OR sacks to carry all my stuff make things a little um, more organized got my snack and got my water that looks like ye light yellow pee and I have my book right here which I'm gonna be reading later it's called Wild at Heart it's not a chick flick, it's about um, how all men grow up looking for um, adventure. And got my bag right there. Got my new luxury, this is my pillow, so I sleep better tonight. And my uh, sleeping pad, my 25 um, synthetic, 25 degree synthetic ba uh, sleeping bag, and my headlamp, handkerchief. And yeah, this is home for tonight. There's the uh, view outside. Good morning, folks. Um, I made it. I made it through the night. Uh, I usually don't do well sleeping by myself outside. I mean, this is actually my first time. But surprisingly, I got a good sleep last night. Maybe all in all about three or four hours. Um, but... Uh, I made it, and I, f I believe that this is, at nighttime is the hardest part of being alone, doing it solo. But I've made it, and I feel great, and I'm having a lot of fun. Um, and this trip has taught me a lot of things. It taught me to be uh, aware of everything around you at all times, because since you're by yourself, you don't have anybody to back you up. But now I'm going to be making breakfast. I have my green tea and I'll be making some oatmeal with my jet boil. So, and then after that, I'll probably just hang out, read a few pages of my book, and then head out here. Um, get out of here and call it a day. And basically, that's it. I made it. <laughs>
ちゃった